of bodies and the vertigo of joy and the vertigo of death. The walk with eyes closed along the edge of the cliff and the verbena in submarine gardens. The laughter that sets fire to rules and the holy commandments. The descent of parachuting words on the sands of the page. The despair that boards a paper boat and crosses for 40 nights and 40 days. The night sorrow sea and the day sorrow desert. The idolatry of the self and the desecration of the self and the dissipation of the self. The beheading of epithets, the burial of mirrors. The recollection of pronouns freshly cut in the garden of Epicurus and the garden of Mental Coyote. The flute solo on the terrace of memory and the dance of flames in the cave of thought. The migrations of millions of verbs, wings and claws, seeds and hands. The nouns bony and full of roots planted on the waves of language. The love unseen and the love unheard and the love unsaid. Help. Even when I know I can't. Just as I couldn't explain electricity, stars, the color of the sky, baldness, tornadoes, fingernails, coconuts, or the other things she asked about over the years. All those phenomena whose daily existence seem miraculous. Instead, I shake my head. I don't even know how to match my socks. Go ask your mother. <laughs> she laughs and says, I did. Mom told me to come and ask you. <laughs> That's by a poet by the name of Joe Mills. I don't know the poet, but if I meet him, I think I'll like him. The next one, so that's the parents' perspective. This is the mystics' perspective by uh, a poem by Hatches. Even after all this time, the sun never says to the earth, you owe me. Look what happens with a love like that. It lights the whole sky. Soft white orchid petals unfold the rose-colored striped leaves. 
embracing yellow gold splashes, sparkling off your jade green eyes, emitting unwritten love sounds aimed straight at my resting open heart. The sun cannot encircle the penumbra of the moon as readily as your skin speaks to me.